Hey guys, it's Retro Head here. Welcome back to another video. Today is a really great day as I managed to add another free complete inbox GameCube games to the GameCube full set. As today I went to Thetford CEX and I managed to grab some awesome pickups to add to the collection. Now I do have a few things I want to say about the Thetford CEX stop that I had that I'll save when we get back. Um, there's not loads and loads of footage because I had uh, a bit of a problem in there so I didn't have quite as much time to film as I would have liked. If you enjoyed the video please like please subscribe but without further ado let's go to Thetford CEX. So here I am in Thetford CEX. Now the first thing I've got to say about the footage that you're going to see is there will be there will not be much retro footage just because they don't like bringing out the retro and sadly a lot of CEXs aren't displaying retro in their glass cabinets anymore. So this is like not much retro footage which is a real shame because it's my favourite part of any CEX looking at the box, you know, Nintendo and Sega games. So that is a real shame. So this is all like not much retro footage. But I did still get some cool footage from the shop, especially of the GameCube section. Now, I did grab a couple of nice GameCube games from here today. Uh, but the Wii U selection, I didn't grab anything from here today. I think I had most of the games here, to be honest with you. I don't have the Wind Waker on Wii U yet, but that is one that I would like to grab at some point. But obviously, you can't grab everything you want in one CEX, otherwise the, the journey would be over. But it was really nice to see quite a few Vita games, and there was some really good games here. And luckily, not many of them are reprinted covers. There is one there, but just one reprinted cover for Vita at CEX is um quite a quite a good find, to be fair. Still got some awesome pickups from this CEX. Now let's go back to the games room to check them out. So I am back from there for CEX, and I do also have a little charity shop find to show you at the end. But the thing that I wanted to sort of say about before we start is uh this the Theft for CEX stop was not very good because I yeah I did get some really cool pickups. But um, I traded in quite a lot of stuff and um, I was there for like well, well over an hour just because it took the person so, so long to like check every disc. And then they had a big stack of the discs on like the table, like which they were probably going to be damaged because the stack was like this big and they kept putting more and more on top. And then there was a box set that they didn't take and they'd put all the discs on there. The final disc had like the slightest scratch on so they said they couldn't take it. And you had to go back through all the discs and like find the ones that you needed to give back to me. It was like, it was it was, it was quite painful to be honest. I'm, I'm standing there and I'm in pain thinking about it. But um, then they also tried to sell me at the end. I wanted to buy F-Zero GX um, on the GameCube. But it was so, so scratched. And I had like DVDs and box sets and games that had like the slightest scratch on. They were like, oh, that won't play. We, we have to take that. We have to give you that back. And I'm like, it'll play absolutely fine. Like, it'll be absolutely fine. And then they tried to sell me F-Zero GX on the GameCube. And they passed me the disc. And it was like so, so scratched. So um, if you're looking for F-Zero GX on the GameCube, do not buy the, uh, the version in Thetford. Because it will just not play at all. It's so, so scratched. It was a shame. Because I am really after that game. And after they'd like rejected a load of discs that would have been absolutely fine, it was a little bit annoying when they tried to sell me a disc that scratched for £45. But enough of me rambling about how long it took, let's have a look at these pickups. So the first two pickups I have to show you are in the glass cabinet and they're only a quid each. And the first thing I'm actually going to use is like really, really handy to have. In one of my last videos I bought a Mario Switch case where it didn't quite protect my Switch as well as I hoped. But this case here is going to protect it like, it's like really, really solid and stuff. It's going to do a great job of protecting my Switch. I really like the look of this case with like the leather bit with Nintendo Switch written there. And inside there's like plenty of room to put lots and lots of games. I'll just show you here. The uh, Switch goes in there with this really nice background. Then you can fold this down and put all your games and your bits and pieces in there. And this is only a quid. So I was really, really pleased to pick this up. And the other thing that was only a quid was this 4GB PSV and memory card. Now sadly this has, ha this has split at the edges, but I bought this because it's still on its original card. Uh, it's brand new, unused, but I wouldn't class it as brand new or sealed or nothing just because it's split down the side, which is a bit of a shame. But for only a quid, I thought this was a really cool little like random PlayStation Vita item. And I don't even have a PS Vita. The only PS Vita game I have is like a FIFA just for if I get one to test it. But yeah. I don't even have a PS Vita, but I thought this was a really, really random PlayStation random thing that I wanted to have in my collection. So yeah, like I say, three GameCube games to add to the collection. I'll save the one that I'm most pleased with till last, but the first one I'm still very, very pleased with. And that is GoldenEye Rogue Agent. Now this is not an overly rare game, but you have to have two discs in this game. And obviously I want them complete now if I can. So this is complete and obviously with both discs. This is in really good condition as well. 
Um, I've played most of the James Bond games either on the GameCube or on the PS2. As you can see with just these, and I have played some of these on the PS2 as well, we have Everything or Nothing. Couldn't really get on with that one quite as well. Um, I thought Nightfire was okay. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of James Bond anyway. I don't mind it, but I'm not the biggest fan. But um, Agent Under Fire has always been my favourite. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how Golden Eye Rogue Agent plays, just because I've literally never played it. Um, obviously, with the two discs, I can imagine it's going to be quite a long game. But yeah, for six quid, complete in box. It's a great one to tick off the full list and one that I'm really looking forward to giving a try. Let me know if you have this one in your collection and if you've played it in the comments down below. The next game is Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles on the GameCube. Now this was only £10 and um, I have held out like not buying this one for the longest time. Just because I really wanted to have it in the box with the GameCube link cable but that is really really hard to find. So I thought I see it in this condition for a tenner. I'll pick it up and um, I'm very pleased with it. I do, I do quite like Final Fantasy games. The spine is ever so slightly faded, but it'll be fine. The manual and the disc are both in really nice condition, which was uh, quite a relief compared to that F-Zero one. But yeah, I don't know much about this game. I've only played a few Final Fantasy games. I think I've played Final Fantasy... I can't remember what it was. I've got two on the PS1. I've played one of them so far. i uh, played Dissidia Final Fantasy and Final Fantasy XIII on the PS3. So I'm not overly familiar with the Final Fantasy franchise. But this is a GameCube exclusive Final Fantasy game, and for only a tenner, I think that was an absolutely great price. And the final game is one that I cannot believe I didn't already have in the collection, and that is Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Now, I do have Metroid Prime in the collection, I absolutely love that game, I'm a huge Metroid fan. Uh, Metroid Prime probably being my favourite, to be fair. Now, I don't, I don't even really like FPS games, like first-person shooters aren't really my sort of thing. Like, I played Halo, couldn't really get on with it, and I've played, I've given, like, Call of Duty and stuff a try, it's just not my sort of thing. But I absolutely love the Metroid games, and the fact that I didn't have Metroid Prime 2 Echoes when I'm a huge GameCube fan is kind of bad, to be honest, but really, really pleased to finally have it in the collection. Now, this doesn't have its Nintendo VIP points, but it does have the manual and the disc. Really nice condition as well, this one, so I cannot wait to give this one a play. Obviously, I've seen gameplay footage of this and read reviews and stuff, and it's just so well thought of. I don't know if people uh, like it quite as much as Metroid Prime, but I never really listen to the reviews or nothing. I just kind of like to judge James at what I think of them. So, really, really look forward to giving this one a go. And again, let me know if you've played this game and how much you like it. And now for that charity shop buying, and this is something that I don't buy very often, but I found four DVDs for £2. Now, um, I am really, really happy with these. The first one I'll show you... Um, it's like the least cool one. I've never even heard of this. I might be like like stupid for never heard of this But yeah, I do not recognize this and that is mummies alive Now this obviously just looks like a 90s cartoon on DVD But this is the sort of thing that you just don't get on like all these streaming stuff I don't do anything streaming. I'm not a fan of it I always buy DVDs if I want to watch something but these are all in really nice condition But yeah, like I say, I don't even know what mummies alive is the next one I am really pleased with and that is Sonic Underground this is really cool. I love the artwork on this. Now, I do have the full DVD box set of Sonic Underground. So I do technically already have this on DVD. But I've still got to keep that artwork. That is absolutely awesome. And the final two DVDs are of a franchise that I have never ever watched. Never really seen before. And ones that I've never actually seen on DVD before. And that is Street Sharks Volume 1 and Volume 2. Now, this is just a cartoon that I'm not familiar with at all. I've heard people say about it and say it's quite good. But... And I've never ever seen them on DVDs either. And this is the sort of thing that I don't really think you will find like on streaming websites or anything like that. So for only 50p a piece, I'm so so pleased with these. And I'm really looking forward to watching Street Sharks. If you've watched it, let me know anything about it in the comments down below. So I've, like I said, I've never ever watched it. But I'm really looking forward to giving it a go. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and please subscribe. And let me know what was your favourite pickup of the day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye!